Hello, Patrick and Owen. Today we're going to discuss Immanuel Kant on the second part of our series on moral philosophers. So, starting right off, right off the bat, Immanuel Kant was very um, structured in his moral philosophy. He's very different than Niccolo Machiavelli, who was um, saying that morals really don't matter because he was thinking on an empiricist sort of ideal. Immanuel Kant was very different. He said that morals do matter. Um, Alright, so first off, um, it, he had a couple formulations, um, but we're all, we're really only going to discuss the first one. That's the most important for um, of his things. Although the others, you should probably look into if you've got time. We don't. We only have five minutes, so let's get going. All right. So the first formulation, he was he was basically saying that no matter what you do, it has to be a universal law. Like, okay, so. Let's let's go to the mind game here. So say you wanted to rob a bank, then that means that if you rob a bank, then it should be universal law that everyone has to rob banks. So if you rob a bank, everyone you know has to rob a bank, everyone in the universe has to rob banks because that is a moral obligation. That sort of makes it less moral for you. It sort of puts it in perspective like, yeah, that doesn't actually sound that great. If everybody's doing it, then it's sort of bad. So you shouldn't do it either. So that's his, that's the biggest point of his first formulation. Um, but the the next one is basically you're not allowed to lie. No matter what you do, you're not allowed to lie because that would um, basically mean that lying is a universal law and that everyone has to lie all the time. So you're not allowed to lie. Um, although a lot of people say, like, I mean, what if you get killed? What if someone's about to kill you um, and is like, tell me, tell me, um, like, where your children are or whatever? That's one of the most famous um, rel relative uh, things on it um, is like, tell me where your children are or I'm going to kill you. It's like, what? Would you tell him the truth and tell him where your children are? I mean, he's going to kill you. He's obviously pretty crazy. Um, but Immanuel Kant's thing about that was to say it's not lying to push him off you or do something to hurt him You're just or call the police. It It's just you're not allowed to lie because it's morally wrong, which does come into sort of some, some part of conflict because – I mean, you can't exactly just push him off you. He's a murderer. But um, the basic idea is that you're not supposed to lie or do anything wrong um, because then it would become universal law um, in theory. So the second part is – so is basically imagine a, a world in which everyone does what you were doing. Um, so – it, that that's basically a reinstatement of the first one. I mean, not of the first one, but of the basic idea. Um, the third is basically if there's any um, things that go wrong with your with your moral idea, if like there's contradictions or something, or if you really don't like that world, then that means you should not do it. And um, that's also four, four, three and four are basically the same thing. And then five is basically if there's not, if it's okay, then fine, go along with it. Um, and also sometimes it's necessary to do it because it's like eating or something. Everybody should eat, probably. So, yeah, that that is Immanuel Kant's first formulation. And you guys can go in the other parts if you need to. So, um, all right. But Patrick wanted a picture of me. So I'm going to put a picture in here just right about now. Yeah. Okay. That's me. Uh, you're going to have to go back and rewatch it a couple times, Patrick, for my beautiful face. But I'm not going to share it with the rest of you too much because I know I'm not the prettiest person and you don't want to see my face staring at you all the time. All right. So going on in my personal life, I just got a kitty. Uh, or really, my brother did. And we've named him Artemis, like as an Artemis fowl, even though she's a girl. But she's a cute little kitten, two months old, um, Tabby, 